everyone, it's Mari here and Kelly Barron and I are back this week with another episode of Scrap the Challenge. And this week is kind of a really big week for us because it's actually the 50th anniversary episode of Scrap the Challenge. So we started our challenge series about two years ago, March of 2016. And since then, we have done a challenge about every two weeks and we have done 50 challenges. So we're pretty excited about that. And so to celebrate today, we decided that our challenge would try to, we would try to include some gold in our layouts because um, 50 in anniversary terms is gold. And so I decided to use the Paige Taylor Evans Turn the Page collection for my layout today. And what I did was I took the cut apart sheet that's those two by two squares and I just cut them all apart. You saw me do that with my cutter and I've just taken those and adhered them as evenly as I possibly could um, and adhered those to my white cardstock background and I've taken my sewing machine and I have done some gold stitching through some of the squares and I'm going to do some embellishing in gold as well including a little bit of rose gold from this pink paisley collection and so you can just see here that i'm going to be using a photograph of kelly with a snapchat filter for my layout and the journaling that i'm going to be doing here is just going to document these challenges um, that we've been doing and the friendship that has come out of that and <clears throat> kelly and i have developed a really close friendship i think of her as as a really good friend and um, all of this through scrapbooking and it's pretty cool when you think about it and I know there are lots of people who have developed friendships through this craft and through lots of other hobbies and it's it's really it's a neat way to meet people and to get to know someone that you have things in common with and that kind of thing it's it's just it's really really very very neat and so this is a little picture that Kelly sent me and I sent her a photograph of myself a selfie using a snapchat filter and so we decided that that those are the photos that we would use on this little anniversary gold challenge layout now what i did was i printed kelly's photo in three and a half by three and a half i did a layer of vellum behind the photograph and now i'm going to take some of the papers from turn the page the six by six pad and i'm going to do just some really basic matting of the photo here so the first layer is that really pretty ombre pink and i just thought that looked really nice with kelly's photograph here and <clears throat> now i just want to put a darker layer behind that so that um, it just pops off the page a little bit more and i like how that looks you can see that um, I put the gold stitching just through a few of the squares in the background there because I'm going to also put some of the phrases, some of the two by two phrases on some of those squares as well. Now I wanna pop Kelly's photograph up off the layout a little bit to give it some dimension. So I just added a little bit of craft foam to the back and you can see that that just uh, brings that, that photograph up. And now I'm taking those little phrase, um, phrase squares that are from that little two by two square pad. And I'm just going to stick some of those down. So the ones that I chose say the best is yet to come. Hey girl, uh, by the way, you're pretty great. And then the other one says wonderful. And I'm just going to spread those out a little bit. And then in the other squares in this grid design, I'm going to put some of the chipboard. I'm going to put the number 50 in a couple of the squares in gold glitter and so on and so forth. And then one of the squares I'm going to use for my journaling. Now I just took a die cut piece that's kind of like in that arrow shape or that banner shape at the top. And I'm going to take some of the chipboard thickers from Paige's uh, collection here and I'm going to spell out the word gold for my title. And I'm just going to take some of the die cuts from the die cut pack and embellish with some of those as well on the layout. I thought I might use that arrow, but I was kind of wishing I'd put a different color square instead of that pink one. And that arrow just, I felt just blended in too much. So I don't end up using it. I end up using something else to embellish that little square instead. So I hadn't used these floral die cut pieces yet from the collection and 
think they're my favorite, but so is Kelly. So I'm going to use those floral pieces on this one. And I'm going to uh, pop those up on a little bit of dimensional adhesive here so that they um, work well with that photograph that's already dimensional on the layout. So I just used a couple of layers of foam tape behind that. And I'm going to pop up a lot of the little die cuts with some foam adhesive. And I also use that little gold um, flag uh, clip on the floral piece right below Kelly's photograph as well. I just love those little clips. I think they're adorable. And I just like how that added a little bit more detail and interest to that cluster below the photo. I'm going to use just a variety of the stickers and um, some of the other die cuts in and around the different parts of the layout and you'll just see me adding those as I go along here. I wanted to use some of these Vicky Booten um, phrase stickers as well and I'm going to just pop one of those on that little tab that I put above the photo and that one says you're the best and I'm going to use a couple of others. One says beauty and another one says smile on it and you can just see that I'm popping a little bit more ephemera and some die cuts here and there. So I have a playlist on my channel here of all of the videos from Kelly and or from from our challenges. They're my videos from our challenges. And what I think I need to actually update that. I don't think I've got the most recent ones in there. But if you wanted to check out some of the other challenges that we have done over the last two years, they will be in that playlist. And we've done so many different things um you know just some some really kind of cool different challenges along the way sometimes you know we get really stuck and we're so busy with our real lives that we don't always find it super easy to come up with a challenge and we have to really rack our brains to try to figure something out we've done some of the same challenges over again <clears throat> and that's okay too you know the bottom line is we just want to get our scrapbooking done and we both really enjoy it and the challenges really help us with that. They help us get into our rooms and, and you know, um, just have fun because we both really enjoy this hobby. And we also get that documenting done at the same time. So it's, it's actually, it works out very well. Um, I really love this little bird, that little chipboard bird. Uh, one of Kelly's favorite embellishments in some different collections is a bird. And I just, but I didn't really like how that one looked like it was going to fly off the page instead of sort of like into. So I ended up switching that out for a bird from another collection. And I think it was Wonder, the Crepe Paper Wonder collection or something like that. But I just wanted to try to work in a little birdie here on this layout somewhere. And I think I'm just about done here, guys. I will slow it down here in a few seconds and show you uh, you know, a slowed down version of what the layout looks like. And there's also going to be some still shots at the end. I am going to leave Kelly's channel link in the description box below. So make sure you hop on over to Kelly's channel if you haven't already and check out what she did for our 50th anniversary challenge this week where we try to incorporate some gold in our layouts. I think we both struggled a little bit with trying to get a lot of gold down, but I think we both ended up getting a little bit of a little pop of gold here and there. So there's my layout guys and it's all finished. And thanks so much for joining us. Have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.